Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Fork Rural Part 60. We got Richmond and I think a Cup Series Hot Seat Race at Talladega. Um, maybe not because I keep forgetting Xfinity before Cup. So, probably not this part, but we will have one probably after the Xfinity one at Talladega. But, um, this Richmond race is kind of going to be a throwaway one. I mean, we're not really going into this with good stuff, actually much worse stuff than what we had in the fall at Richmond, so... It's not going to be great. We are reusing the same chassis. So, like usual for Richmond, we'll put their uh, tire wear to more effect. It will help us out a little bit, but most of the stage will be kind of just struggling. So, I'll try not to show a lot of that because it's just sad. Because <laughs> I can't do anything and nothing really happens. So, um, we're like 100,000 away to upgrading our final employee to getting 12, roughly. Because it's 322 and 220, or about 98,000. So I don't think we'll get it after Richmond. Probably after Talladega for sure. So, um, anyways, we'll get into qualifying and, hope, and we'll probably start like mid 20s. Well, that was a pretty shitty lap. 22 0. Probably could have got a couple tens better, but I, I, I done screwed it up a lot. So, 29th, that's terrible. Well, it's going to be one of them races. I'll try to somehow get a top 20 if I can. And. Briscoe on pole, and Brandon Brown 7th. That makes no sense. But you know what? Who am I to judge the game? So, we'll see uh, what we can do in Stage 1. Most of this will probably be just a waste. But we did gain a spot because then we got put in the back. Uh, Greg Golding. So, rip. So, uh, we'll see how many laps we have in the stage. I think we'll have 18 laps of fuel. So, usually it's always right around like halfway through the fuel run. The car starts to do things. Or I guess the AI start to fall off finally. So... Okay, 24 laps. That was very wrong. So, 17 lap stage. I'll see you all around lap 8 when I should be able to do something because then their tires will fall off and I can start making some quality passes on people. Alright, well, a little bit past halfway through the, the stage. Greg Golding has finally moved up to 30th. It took him that long to gain 8 spots on scrub drivers like myself, so that's pretty sad. But no actual progress has been made. We're in 29th. Does seem like their tire was starting to kick in a little bit more, so that's good. So that's nice. But well, uh, our worst finish this year is 19th, and I think that was at Vegas. So that's the bar we have to achieve is better than 19th, which I really don't know if I can. Maybe on a long run, sure, but absolutely not on the, the short run. Okay, the car's it's coming alive a little bit. It's doing things, and somebody just hit the outside wall. So never mind. All that momentum I had out the window. Maybe not. I don't know, but... Well, I guess I can pit and see if I can gain any other extra spots. I don't know if I can, but it's worth a shot. I mean, where can I go? Back to 37th? So I might as well try it. Actually, a lot of people pitted. Okay, interesting. I, I didn't know that. I like I said, I lost 20 spots, though, so that's a big rip. But, um, you know, some people, I think, might have did some stage strategy, because Cool Custer's back here, and a couple others so interesting could we we did win the fall richmond race here but that was kind of on dumb like stupid ai strategy not really like a legitimate win by any means so i don't know if that really counts but well, we're back to 26 nearly from where i was when that caution came out so it is a net it's a net gain i'll take it i guess um all right well actually we're gonna gain a lot more spots <laughs> this is actually better it's like when their AI tire was on more effect, they just have weirder pit strategies. Like, it makes less sense. So technically, I think their tires burn off more than, than mine, even though I think mine's on, like, the best, like, wear fall off humanly possible with these settings. But if I keep it on, like, normal, like, it's just not even close to them. So, like, I have to have it on, like, like less wear and more grip for myself to be balanced out with the, theirs on, like, more effect or even normal. I don't know, but... What a stage one, I tell you. Look, look at this. We're going to be almost in the top ten. I don't even have words. I mean, this is just downright despicable. <laughs> we almost got stage points from that. From starting like 30-something. 30, 30 <laughs> Good lord. Tommy Joe Martin's got a stage point. And what is this? Top ten. Steven Light fourth. Ew. Well, everybody's pitting. I, the bag markers. Well, there's a couple people not pitting. But I'm just going to take right sides and just a splash of fuel because I don't really anything too crazy so that's what i'm gonna do hopefully i don't lose too much spots i'm still 12th 
Not a net gain or a net loss, but it looks like everything's back to normal up here? I don't know. This, this race got all weird because of that yellow. So, uh, stage 2 should be a lot how like stage 1 went. I'll be probably falling back to like 31st. So, this will be quite a depressing run. Halfway through the stage, fell back to about as far back as 32nd, and we've been slowly moving our way back up as we got around uh, Ray Black Jr. and Baccarella here, so. Progress is finally being made to some extent, but like usual, the first eight laps are just so atrocious. But we're making a comeback of sorts. There we go, we caught up to Joey Gase, and this should be a pretty easy 25th spot. And it is. Now we need to get around John Jackson. There's a bunch of, uh, a plethora of vehicles in front of us as I'm drifting because I'm on an 8 slider. Maybe that's not the greatest thing on a long run at Richmond. Uh, fun fact, in, in the, the core race, I think I had a 4 as a setting for the slider. But the w race winner win was on 3, so um, holy crap. But yeah, that's that's how crazy it gets on, on the long run with like the uh, yeah, it's kind of doing that here, too. There we go. Nice run off turn four. And it looks like we're going to get two for one on the straightaway. Not in the corner. The straightaway. And P22. And we might be able to get light, but that will probably be all show right for this stage. Yep, I was right. 21st is all we'll get for this stage, so. Not bad. A pretty good recovery and rebound from how bad it was the first half. So I like that. If we have a longer run... We could probably get 19th and not have our have this race be our worst finish of the year. Yep. Nice. Damn, our pit crew is on it. We moved up three spots. Unfortunately, that's not going to really mean a whole lot at this track. But I will see you all in about eight laps where our car finally does some car things. Wow, that was bad. Well, there was really any fuel strategy. That's out the window, because everybody can basically make it now. Well, if anything, pitting it will probably help me. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to go back to like 30 seconds anyways if I didn't pit. So what would be the big loss? We'll just pit. Get like two extra laps of freshies. And go from there. I, I done fucked up. That was that was on me. But there's just so much faster on the short run. It's just it's comically ridiculous. Good lord, J Morgan Shepard did all that for like next to last. Now my back bumper's fucked up and my front bumper's destroyed. So now the car wear thing is gonna be absolutely atrociously bad. Jeffrey Earnhardt, ladies and gentlemen, running 37th, 36th, blows a tire. I guess he just drove the car, he drove his heart out so bad, he, his car just couldn't handle it anymore. And, I mean, they're not pitting, I'll, I'll pit to get more fresh tires for some kind of advantage, because right now, I'm slower than every car in the fucking field, it's so sad. Okay, I'll give the car some props on that. It actually did things in turn one that constituted in like gaining spots. Is this the point in the run where the AI tires just start to die and we can just do something? I guess so. We have nine laps to try to get better than 19th, so this will not, I'm hoping this race will not be our worst finish. It does, it seems like it's on the path, the path of glory to not have that happen. It's already up in 25th, and it's only going to get worse for them as the run goes on, so this is, this is, like, perfect. A demonstrously beautiful runoff turn two will gain a couple spots. Joey Gase, I think I kind of hit him there a little bit, but thankfully he didn't wreck, so that was nice. Up to 22nd, so it's going to happen. This will not be our worst finishing race, though our performance was certainly 
like a, like a candidate for the like the worst performance race. I guess you can you can, you can count that, but worst finish I just don't think will happen unless I try to wreck myself on the apron, which I'm trying really fucking hard to do apparently. And Brendan Jones is leading. This is like a galactic problem right now. Look at that, we were able to kind of throw the car in the corner, it's sort of stuck, and this will not be our worst finish race of the year. That is beautiful. Michael Annette is doing some, I don't even know if that's Michael Annette things. Mike Harmon is like nearly outrunning, which is unbelievable, so go Mike Harmon, but yeah, so with four to go, um, damn, we can nearly get a top 15, so Jeffrey Earnhardt blowing a tire there kind of helped me, so thank you. And thank we, you know, thankfully we have no actual like sponsor or objective to get, so we don't necessarily have to get a top 15. But any finish better, I mean, technically you get more money, so I guess that's what I want too. But this, uh, I'm happy with this. You know what? This one was pretty rough. Just very, most half of it was uneventful. I just doored Michael Annette for no good reason. Please don't wreck in the corner. He got sideways because of that. Are you kidding? Why? Who gets, who makes contact on the back straightaway and then wreck the very next corner? I guess that's as a NASCAR heat thing. Or a Dirt Daytona thing, because that happened back then too. But we're almost coming to the white flag. Kind of lean up against Crawler there, so. Holy shit, our car is doing things. It's gaining spots, it's doing stuff. Please don't wreck. He did. What is, AI are like extra special here. I don't even know what to make of it. It's just, it's just bizarre. But white flag time. And we're going to get to the inside Jeff Green and make the spot till so top 15 somehow. Damn. If we just had a little bit more laps and maybe their tires fell off a little more, I don't know where we could have gotten, but almost a top 10. But through the final corner, a pretty ugly race, very uneventful, but top 15. <laughs> and not our worst finish of the year. So we took a garbage car and took it into something decent. That's the most Ross Chastain race I've ever seen. So, Brendan Jones won a race. I'm kind of sad. John Hunter Nemechek just lost to him by three tenths. Briscoe definitely had the best car, it seemed like. But stage, or yellows within a stage and bizarre pit strategy kind of threw the whole field in a bizarre order. Like, just, just very strange things. But we got a good finish, and we'll get decent money from that. About eh, 80 plus thousand. Not bad. 88,000. Not enough to get another... Uh, the trainer employee, but we're, yeah, definitely after Talladega and Xfinity, we'll for sure get that. We drop a couple spots in the standings. Brendan Jones gets a win, so now he's automatically locked in. We're having a lot of uh, first-time winners of the season, so therefore the playoff grid is going to probably be weird this season, and the way it's kind of shaping out to be. So it'll be interesting. We'll have about three hundred twelve thousand in the bank, so just a couple like th thousand away to. Getting that one employee to max on the rating. Car wear, moderate, as I would figure, because Morgan Shepard just, he had to ram me for last. But we do get uh, incentive contracts, so another couple thousand. So that's pretty good. Yeah, 331. I think we're like a couple hundred away from the next, like, thing. Uh, thank you, Austin Sindrick. I just, I don't want him to be on my bowling team. How many times are drivers going to be wanting, no, we're not going fishing, Brendan Brown. I swear to God. No, we are not going to girl games or whatever, Garrett Smithley. No, we're not going four-wheeling. I don't want to be like Tony Stewart. Cesar Baccarella, I'm sorry. Uh, Ray Black, we're not going kayaking. We've never been kayaking. No. Okay, as I expected, our next cup hot seat will be at Talladega. So thank you, comment section, for the help on that. I don't know what to put for this because I... Don't even know if I can even get a top 10 again anywhere else except for Talladega, but we'll try because we're a hard ass. And we got more contract options for Xfinity, but I don't care about it. Oh, we actually have enough for this. Okay, we're only about 9,000 away, or to the good, but yeah, we can actually do that. But first, I want to be sure and get this work plan, like, situated. Well, maybe it'll go up if I just improve her, I guess. I guess that's how it works, because I didn't start the work plan or anything. That's my assumption. Uh, okay. Alright. So everything's good to go. And we'll go into Taldega, put the draft partners on, and get, put their tire works down back to normal. And try qualifying. Waste like five minutes of my time on that. And we'll see where we start in 
all that good stuff. We won at Daytona, so I think we have a good realistic chance to win uh, Talladega as uh, as well, or it, as well like Daytona. Well, about seven minutes later, at least it feels like it, uh, we'll finally finish up qualifying. All this to probably finish last, and I was like a tenth quicker, and all right, well, thankfully you guys don't have to see that because that was pretty pretty depressing. And uh, we were like seven tenths off of uh, thirty seven. And th hopefully somebody will get put in the back so we don't just start last and maybe potentially lose the draft, because that would suck. Jeff Green is third. Well, if Mike Harmon can get second in this game, then I think anything's possible. And three people got put in the back. Holy crap. That's impressive. Cascarola, Cindric, and Annette. All right, well, we got fast cars behind me, so that's good. And we're 35th on the inside line. I really couldn't ask for a better outcome for all of it. Brennan Jones on pole is certainly very strange because I guess now he's just having a, a breakout year. But Michael Lynette in a great scheme. I do say, Michael Lynette has some good looking schemes in this game. And in 2019, I guess, in general, because this is based on 2019, so yeah. Well, Cindric's behind me, so he'll give me some kind of push. And, yeah, well, this is almost a last to first challenge, so I guess we'll see how many spots we'll gain in this stage. But when we do pit, we'll, we'll bump the tire pressure up to 50. That'll give us a little bit better of a shot to go off through the field. I don't know why Cindric is not trying to help me. Okay, now he is. Okay, thank you. I was worried that maybe I didn't have the draft thing enabled, even though I purposely had it set to that. But now, all my worry and suspicion is gone. The good thing with Austin Cindric being behind me is that he's such a mu he's like a much faster car, so he's just pushing me through these ones, like these slower ones, and we were just getting like eight spots in like two corners. <laughs> like it was insane. And we're still gaining a bunch through here, so holy crap. I mean, he got, okay, he got shuffled back there, so. Well, wait, no, he's coming back. Okay, it's not over yet. Maybe it is over for Cinder because he's not really catching me. Mike Harmon, though, <laughs> is pushing me, giving me a hell of a run. And we're technically three-car tangling with me, Harmon, and Austin Hill. Are we going to try to do four-car tango with, I was going to say with Bill Wiki, but never mind. Look at Mike Harmon pushing me, yeah. It, what if, Mike Harmon's a legend in this game. We are four wide. With four cars for on the outside, but Jeff Green is leading us. Well, he did come close to winning that one year in 2018, or the year where Spencer Gallagher won. It might have been 2017, I can't remember. But it was the year where Spencer Gallagher won, and Jeff Green was kind of in the top five on the last lap. I remember that. I watched Kamikaze stream on that. That was that was a good times. I gotta say, this car is even more sportier than what it was at Daytona. I mean, in this first stage alone, we've Moved up through the field a lot better than Daytona, maybe because the track's a little bit wider, but you know, we're having a lot better of a run. So I think a win is a realistic shot, as long as we, you know, don't have to start like 30th in like two laps to get to the front to win the race. As long as we don't have like a weird scenario like that, I think we have a serious chance of winning this thing. Not the stage, but the race win. So we have Joe Snowguyer in a DLC scheme, which is cool. I like that. I don't know if that's a December one that came out or. I have no idea, but it looks pretty. And it does look like we're going to finish off stage one uh, within stage point territory. And almost a top five. Garrett Smith, it looks like he's going to win a stage, which is weird. Great run off turn four. We're just going to just easily sneak into a top five because Justin Haley just wanted me to have it. So, I mean, thank you. And I can't really do anything there, so I'll take fourth for fifth. That was good. That was like 35th to fifth in five laps is pretty damn good. So, we'll pit here, we'll put our tire pressures in, or at least try to, and go from there for stage two. Well, I couldn't do it all the way because the thing, is slider is just so slow, but we don't lose any spots, we're fifth, and we can more likely get the stage win here. I mean, these, these cars up here are not super fast, so um, I think we can do it. So this stage should be about five or six laps, very similar to stage one. All right to the inside, Josh Williams. Pretty illegal, but, you know, half the rules aren't even implemented in this game. And an amazing start. Good lord, we're going to go to the lead. <laughs> Good god. All right, well, that's nice. All right, well, uh, new leader. And we'll just try to block as best as we can. Well, I tried. Allgaier and McLeod just had a run all at the same time, so I couldn't really do anything there. Well, damn, that was really nice of you, Bill. He just let me have the bottom line. Well, that was really nice. 
Maybe he can push you back into the lead. But yeah, both those run. <laughs> that was strange. Like both had a run of like the same time in the, in, the, in those lanes. So I just like I couldn't block either. I couldn't block all of it. Very suddenly does that kind of happen like that. So that was very interesting. Ray Black Jr. going for a lead, ladies and gentlemen. That that is very bizarre. But we'll get a good around the corner. Peek down the inside. A little bit of side draft. And we'll lead this lap, I think. I want to get most laps. I want to lead as much laps as I did last season. Before we... Oh, well, I want to lead like over 36 laps this year. So I can say I led more than last year. And have, say I definitively... Did the, <laughs> definitively have a better season. Even though I kind of... Oh. Look, was I getting bump draft by two different cars at the same time? That was pretty weird. Not gonna lie. I don't think I've ever really had that happen before. Oh! Well, Kashi came out and, and stage him. We won it. Wow, <laughs> that was that was that was neat. Very interesting. I, I mean, we barely got it. That means his last run of the stage actually is just long enough that we'll probably have to pit twice. So that's going to be interesting. So four tires and fuel. We'll bump the tire pressures up again and um, probably take the lead early on and then try to block and hope we can make that last a little bit. Well, we already are in the lead. But I don't know if I'm going to drop any spots. Surprisingly, no, I did not lose any spots. So, um, I like how stage two started. We'll get a good start, block the lanes, and I kind of see how that goes. But first, we got to solidify that we'll get the lead and be good, which I'm positive that's going to be the case, but just want to be extra super duper sure. Yeah, all right, we're good. I'll see, you, I'll see you when something happens. That's a mess back there, I will say. They're trying. They were, they're really trying. I mean, that was three by three. Three different grooves or lanes getting runs at like different times. That we're we're doing a lot of a lot of blocking though. It's very scary. I block that, block the high lane, go all the way down low. Almost killed Justin Algar, but we're good. Not really, this is still terrifying. But <laughs> I'm gonna they're four wide. I I Ray Black you but I I don't even have any words. I mean this is just this is just madness behind me. Oh my god, the flex seal cars again! What is with them always interfering with my race one way or another? Like what is this? Look at that! They just they just went on the outside by themselves, pull away. <laughs> I, I don't even have any words for that. That's, that's insane. Morgan Shepherd is once again having an absolutely stellar race. Got a top five at Daytona, looking for another top five here. And the other flex seal car just left him out to dry. What a dick. We should be able to get the lead back here, though, but that was, like, wild. <laughs> like, that was just absolutely insane how they just pulled that off. And I, I didn't have anything. I couldn't do anything. They just, they were all over behind me there. And Jimmy Hill's trying to get the lead, so that's cute. So, uh, oh, I, wait, I don't know why Matt Mills wants to help me when he's on the outside, but, you know, he's trouble. Oh, my God, he actually succeeded. Never mind. There we go, to the inside, Timmy Hill. A little bit of draft skill. Thankfully, the car actually can do that this year compared to Heat 3, where I was just never able to do it until I had, like, 95 everything or 100 everything or something. So at least I'm able to do that. And I guess I did get help there, so I appreciate it. But not really the best kind of help, because it kind of threw me a little bit sideways. Well, um, I'll try again on Timmy Hill. I just need a little more drafting help behind me. Here we go, that was... Yeah, we got to run like right at the the corner and we can kind of pull him back with a bit of side draft and Now side by side now. I just need someone to push me from behind But apparently me and Timmy Hill are just so fast We were just pulling away from the other cars behind me and I lost the lead. So that's not... oh wait a minute Brendan Jones. Thank you. I was ripping on him a lot earlier, but look at him try to help me I appreciate that though. We will have a pit next time by so Yeah, I don't know what really to do. I mean this next run is basically another fuel run, so I may just have to take four here again and go from there. I don't know if I can make it, though. That's the problem. I, I just, I don't know. And I can't stretch it, so I'm going to have to pit the slap because it's going to hit zero next time, and I don't want to sputter. That whole place is like Talladega, so, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can make it on fuel because that stage two ending so much earlier than it should, it's going to kind of throw this race a little bit out of whack. We had John Jackson and friends pitting. I'll do the same. 
Act on speed, 55. And perfect. So four tires and fuel will be on the way, and we'll see if we can maybe make it on fuel. I just, I don't know. 15-1, actually 15-0, and looks like all the other AI drivers are taking four tires, which must also mean they are taking full thing of fuel. So that's good. We actually kind of cycled out a little bit further ahead of them, but they will catch me, and they should be able to push me, and that. We'll just have to see where we cycle out, and hopefully we don't arc like too far back from the main pack, and now we'll see too if we can even make it out of fuel, because right now we're we might be good, but maybe a lap short, so I might have to try to coast on the last lap if I can and try to cheese it that way. <laughs> I gotta say, John Jackson is using a lot of racecraft right now. He just stuck with me on the outside. Like, dra like drafting was not a problem for him. He like he like he had common sense. The old EA games, I remember that being a really big problem, where they was always trying to run the outside line. But here he's like actively working with me, and we're back in the main pack. So that's pretty cool. Thank you, John Jackson, for the help. Brennan Jones and the other Flexio car kind of just got washed out there. And Jeff Green's pitting, so obviously Justin Haley will take the lead, but we should be able to get by him. Not too much of a problem, and the field's really broken up at this point, so... The other thing, too, is I just don't know if I can make it on fuel, because you see six to go, therefore we will be hitting zero on, like, like right about there, so... Like, unless the... unless we're saving... Well, never mind, there goes our pit strategy, and John Jackson's pitting, rip. Everybody should be good on fuel, though, so I don't really need a pit. But that's going to put a lot of weird people up at the front, which is good for me. Bad for the AI, but... Yeah, so this all this whole race just got flipped on its head again. Just like Richmond. What a bunch of names up here. Justin Haley, Brandon Jones, I saw Vinnie Miller, Stephen Light. Thankfully, we got a good restart gear, so the car should be able to, you know, get past Justin Haley here. And our car is good enough to hang on the lead for the first couple laps on a restart. And because we got three to go, that may be enough time to, uh... Uh, get the lead, but actually, I'm having a really hard time to do that. I think Justin Haley's kind of side drafting me a little bit, so, uh, oh, okay, I didn't get the lead there. All right, so this will be a little bit more of a challenge than, uh, than I thought, though we are kind of still side drafting them, so that's kind of helped. But, uh, oh, wait, oh, okay, that kind of helped. Look at that. We uh, side draft for the win. Oh my god, we just took the lead back from side drafting. That's, <laughs> that's nuts. Like, legs out. Just got a block. Thankfully, it's only two lanes, which is not that hard to do. Vinny Miller's to the outside. He's got a little bit of a run, but nothing too too scary. And it looks like a side draft is kind of pushing them back again. So, this is all looking good right now. We'll block down low. Vinny Miller's got to run up high. We'll try to block that. Down low. High. And back down low. Okay, that was a little scary for a minute there. Because you got to run, like, right at the... Like, Oh no, the, the super... Oh wait, I was going to say the outside line had a run, but Vinny Miller just kind of just blocked him or side drafted him or something. Alright, off turn four. And this is looking good to repeat another restrictor plate win. I will say, the AI definitely put up a fight. And it was not easy. Timmy Hill with a run at the last second, but it's not going to be enough. We'll go back to back in restrictor plates. Wow. I mean, <laughs> our third win of the year. And that was pretty damn good. 105 speed rating, and we get to do another burnout to see if I can try to do what Scout did that that time and try to get better at that too. All right, here we go. We're going to try it. That was, that was a little bit better. Not perfect, but we're getting there. Okay, finishing results time. Jeff Green got 7th, Mike Harmon with a top 10, and poor Morgan Shepard got shuffled back there, it looked like at the end, 23rd. But yeah, um, we'll gain a lot of points here today, I would imagine, because we got a stage win. But yeah, maximum points day, maximum, I guess not maximum points day, but maximum money earned day. Tyler Reddick, 37 too, that was really bad, but that's going to be, oh, wow, look at that, 11,000 for merch payout, 169,000, nice. And that puts us back up to 6th, and I think we have the most wins on the season. Which, I think last year took us, like, a whole season to get 3 wins, and here in only, like, 9 races, we got 3. So, holy crap! This season's a lot better than last year already. It's been a little bit since we last won a race. Actually, I think it was at Talladega, but, um... Well, 
it, it was just there we go again saying shit before I actually have time to speak but yeah that's all I don't know why I can't speak but I meant to say it's been a minute since we last won a race which was at Atlanta I'm keeping that all in like I'm not gonna edit that around so I sound more confident I'm just gonna keep it all unedited there and look at that my best lap time wow do we lead the most laps, though, is the question. Wow, we actually did. Holy crap, we actually... Yeah, um, well, now we definitively have bled more laps than we did last year. That's pretty cool. Modern driving for that. I don't know what I did to get damage. I, I, I guess it might have been back bumper damage that I wasn't aware of, or something, or front bumper. I don't know, but I didn't think I did anything crazy to get damage. Anybody see that? Holy cow, Nika won it at the... What? It wasn't a photo finish or anything. What do you... Whatever. So anyway, Soma, I'll thank you, PJ Mc... Uh, no, we're not going karaoke, Michael and Matt. Po okay. Sure, sure, George Lucas. All right, well, uh, we should have another hot seat offer. And I'm kind of curious what team will be, what kind of star rating will be, too. So that'll, that'll be neat. Oh. It's MBM for the number 233 car. 704, what are you doing? Like, what? What are you doing? What is this? That's not even possible. That's not even close. They were very off on that number. But we need a top 35, though. Okay, it's a 66. Well, that's not no number 233. <laughs> Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, the Del Reynolds, Brother Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Owner, Champ 15, Alan Gray, Robert Dillon, AskOnRestite.org, Bailey Carey, Sean Hamill, More Sports Games, and Mason Dave for a donation again. I can't thank guys enough for a contribution and support that channel. Every single month like this, it just means a lot. And also, welcome Mason Dig. I don't know if that's, I'm saying your last name right, but um, welcome. So, uh, hello. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Um, I'll see you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I'll catch you all in uh, the Talladega hot seat. I'll probably not record that right after this because um, I got stuff to do. I don't feel like playing this again for another like hour <laughs> to do that. So when I come back to the game, I'm hoping it keeps that car. It probably won't, but if it does change, that is why. Sometimes I just don't have the extra hour to just do the thing at the same time. Like, you know, sometimes I just can't. But with Talladega, um, I don't know if we can get a top 35. I don't know. I mean, Martinsville is kind of a, a lucky gamble just because we have the AI tire war on more effect. And Talladega really is not going to matter if I have that on or not. So a top 35 might actually be kind of hard this one. So we'll, I guess we'll find out. But anyways, that's it for me in this part. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.